Hi everyone, I apologize in advance for that high pitch whining you're hearing. That is the stepper motor running. Uh, it's trying to hold position. Uh, I'll talk about all the upgrades that I did to this open trickler, but uh, first let's just run it a couple of times and see what it's all about. My target weight is 3.24 grains. And one more for good measure. And there we go. Okay, so right off the tip, thank you to Amolytics for open sourcing your vibratory uh, trickler design. Uh, just a quick recap, I designed and 3D printed this base for this trickler in order to be able to easily adjust how high it needs to sit for the cup and then also to be able to adjust the pitch that it sits at uh, so that you can control the flow as it goes down the tube. And then uh, I cut some gasket material and put it over here and then 3D printed these stops so that you can screw it in and tension the actual tube so that the vibrations can be dampened out so that you can slow down how much it's trickling out. I designed this underneath here. There's a centering device and then uh, this riser that allows you to mount a Lee powder thrower. And then I also designed and printed this mounting bracket to hold a stepper motor. It's all being controlled by this Raspberry Pi over here. Unfortunately, the problem with this Raspberry Pi is that it doesn't play well with these brake beam sensors that I wanted to put over here and over here to automatically sense when a cup gets entered into there and then dispense the powder. It is a problem with the GPIO library that doesn't want to uh, sense, or it doesn't want to acknowledge that a uh, rising or falling signal is coming from these brake beam sensors. And then the other GPIO library that I tried to use doesn't play well with this servo motor instructions. So I'm kind of stuck in a point where I'm going to have to switch over to an Arduino in order to get that to run correctly. But in any case, uh, the only modifications that need to be done to the open trickler itself is to change around some of the timings. I uh, adjusted the time between when it senses a stable reading and when it actually starts dispensing the powder. And I, I put that for six seconds, I believe, to allow time for the actuation of the lever up and down. Um, besides that, it's pretty much complete. I just have to port it over to a Raspberry Pi, or sorry, uh, Arduino to get this and the code that I wrote to actually sense what's going on with that to play well with everything else. But just to show that none of this stuff was a fluke, I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time. Okay. 
And there we go. Thanks for watching.